Hi there, students. Swathe and swath. Okay, swathe can either be a noun or it can be a verb with a different meaning. So a swathe, but to swathe with a different meaning. And a swath is the same as a swathe. Swaths and swathes. <clears throat> okay, a swathe is a long strip of land or a large area of land. So huge swathes of the rainforest are being destroyed to make room for soya bean farming. Um, a large part of something figuratively um, a wide swathe of public opinion disapproves of um, destroying the rainforest. Okay, now, to swathe as a verb means to wrap, to wrap up. So, um, to wrap in layers of cloth. She swathed herself in towels as she came out of the um, bath. Clouds, uh, huge clouds, swathed the mountain tops. So, r to wrap in cloth or in bandages to bind, or then metaphorically to envelop, to enfold. Okay. Um, he had a big wound which the nurse swathed. Okay, now let's go back to a swathe and a swath. Okay, a swathe is a large area. So you're probably wondering what this scythe, scythe is doing behind me. And that's because swathe is linked directly to this. So, a swathe or a swath is the width of a scythe stroke. With this thing, you go backwards and forwards and you cut the grass, you mow the grass. So, a swathe is the width of one of these strokes. If you're mowing grass with one of these, you go backwards and forwards. You, you take a step forward and you cut another one. And you take another step and go forward. And that is a swathe or a swath. So, the width of one sweep of the scythe one sweep of this. This is a very difficult tool to use, by the way. Yeah, you should try it someday. But nowadays, nobody uses this, and we use a swathe to talk about a large area, a large strip of something. Um, so there, um, the army took over swathes of territory. Yes, yeah, swathes of uh, new territory. Um, there were there were um, swathes of litter lying all over the uh, ground. This uh, Lord Muck is the owner of swathes of land. Yeah, so a broad sweep or a broad expanse of land. Um, a large swathe of the population or a large swath of the population is opposed to this government policy. The hurricane devastated swathes of the country. Yeah, um, so swathes, large, large areas. And then remember to swathe, to wrap in bandages. Yeah, um, he was swathed in uh, in in a blanket because he didn't have any other um, clothes. 
So, I, th I get the feeling, and I've been trying to, to work this out, that Swayze is more British and Swath is more American. But I find both uses in both... Um, in both languages so yeah you can use it in either um swathes of people support my channel uh there are sway swathes of immigrants coming into the country okay large numbers or large areas um he has a responsibility over swathes of the country yeah, he, there are swathes of the country under his uh, control. His head was swathed in bandages. He came out of the hospital swathed in bandages. So be careful if it's a noun or a, uh, a verb. Maybe he was swathed in swathes of bandages. Large numbers, large areas. Um, yeah, the, uh, this law is, uh, swathed in such obfuscation, such confuse, confusing terms, that it cannot be understood. So here I've used this meaning of to bandage, but in a metaphorical sense. Um, yeah, uh... He he has really bad intentions, but they're swathed in uh, sweetness and light, wrapped, covered in. Okay, so a swathe, a large area, swathes of countryside. I looked down from the plain and I could see swathes of green. But then I could also say the countryside was swathed, was wrapped in green. Okay, so now you're going to ask me about formality. Um, firstly, I would say swath is not a word I would I would use. I would use swathe in all of these senses, but I need to include sw swath in the video. Um, so swathes of people. I give it a six in formality. I think you could use it in an informal conversation. The noun swathes large areas. Um, although I might say large areas in an in an informal conversation. Swathes of of land. Um, very definitely use it semi-formally or formally. It sounds quite a literary word as well. So it's probably a good word for an essay. Now, to swathe, as in to wrap up, this is a lot more formal. Um, I'd probably give it a 7.5 in formality. He came back from hospital swathed in bandages. No, wrapped in bandages. Yeah, if you're going to use it, say that informally, wrapped, covered. Yeah, swathed in bandages sounds very, very literary indeed. So to swathe as a verb, um, I would uh, only use it semi-formally or formally. So, also, so let me recap. Um, to swathe, to wrap in bandages, a regular verb. They swathed him in bandages. He was swathed in bandages. And then a swathe, a large area. Swathes of this uh, area are planted with wheat. Yeah, The farms occupy large swathes of land. Um, swathes of people disagree with this government policy. Swathes of public opinion are against this. Yeah, these opinions represent a swathe of public opinion. So there you go. Swathe and swath. Notice the different pronunciations as well. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. A scythe. Swathe. Swath. Bye for now.